Hello everyone, my name is Carlin and I'm a professional makeup artist with some tricks for you today. I'm gonna show you how to do a red lip. So I'm gonna show you how to keep it on, put it on, and some colors you can use. So for those of you that are interested in doing a red lip, there are four types that you can do. There's a sheer, a warm, a red, and a blue. So make sure that you pay attention to these tricks because there's a certain type of complexion and there's a certain type of coloring that can wear either of these colors. Alrighty, let's start off with the sheer lip. I'm gonna use Trish McAvoy for the sheer lip just because her whole entire line is based on everything natural. Um, so she kind of gears her whole collection to the everyday woman. So I'm gonna use Barely There lip liner and Barely There uh, lip liner matches my lip color. Trish McAvoy has this idea that your lip liner should not match your lipstick. It should match your lip. So I'm gonna use Barely There. There's three other colors, Deep Nude, Ice Nude. I'm using Barely There. And we're just gonna start bottom, do the U, but start from the outside in and outside in. Don't try to do the full U all at once. And then when we do the top, just make sure that you're doing the peaks first. And then when you do the peaks, if you're gonna go this way, then go down. If you're gonna swoop up, then go up. But don't go both ways, because then you're gonna end up with a round here and a peak there, and it's gonna look kind of crazy. So up, up. Done and done. And then I'm gonna use Gorgeous Red, which is her sheer lipstick. It's a, it has a little tinge to it that's like kind of shiny, but it's actually a matte. So it's gonna work for everybody. Ah. Done and done. Every day, sheer. Sheer because it's gonna work with your own lip color. Now for the warm lip. Like I said in the intro, we're gonna go from the most natural to the most dramatic. So warm red being the second is actually good because it can be a daytime lip or a nighttime lip but it's still really opaque, so you wanna make sure that you're wearing a base underneath there. Um, you can use your preference, actually, of lip primer. There's a good one from Matt called Prep and Prime. There's a good one from Trish McAvoy called Flawless Lip, and those guys just create little islands of, for the lipstick to stay on. I, however, I'm kinda of weird, I prefer to use an eyeshadow base, which is good because it's actually oil-proof, so it prevents the lipstick from feathering or just kinda of getting anywhere. And I know that seems like crazy because it's an eyeshadow base, but it's totally worth it. And I like it as well just because when you put it on, it creates like a even canvas. So then you can really see the color that's happening on your lip. And then if you want, you can even set it with a powder, which is totally a 1990s trick, early 90s. I'm gonna use red lip liner. You can use red lip liner or brick lip liner from MAC. I'm gonna use red today. And it's the same thing with the sheer. You're gonna go outside in, outside in. Don't do the full U. And then for this one, when you're doing the peaks, you wanna make sure that you're gonna do the full peaks. And when you do that, the best trick is to look into your mirror like this and have your face looking down so you can see where you're drawing. And you're gonna make Two lines, but you're gonna finish the peaks as well. Now what you're gonna do from there is continue on, either go up or go down. I'm gonna use cherry wood from Laura Mercier. It's a warm tone, so basically these lip colors you can use with pretty much any eyeshadow. I prefer to use browns or neutrals whenever I wear a warm lip color, but it's warm, so it's really versatile as far as what makeup you wanna wear with it. Even oranges. And be careful when you press together because you wanna make sure that you're not pressing over that peak you just created. Red. 
Now for the red red. This red is the one you're gonna use for like your old Hollywood glamour look or something with a pinup. It's very dramatic, so you wanna make sure that you're only wearing this lip color at night, okay? We're gonna use Cherry Lip Pencil and Ruby Woo from MAC. It's the same application as the Warm Red. A nice way to get your lip to look really defined is to contour the lip. So take a little bit here. It's just like eyeshadow. So it's gonna get a little deeper as you get in. And just feather it up. And then apply your lipstick. Ruby. For this red red, I just want you to know, if you do choose to use Ruby Woo, it is a retro matte lipstick, not a matte. It's a retro matte, so it's super dry. But it's totally worth it because it makes it literally kiss for. So for those of you that choose to use this, I just want you to know you can be any skin tone to wear a red red lip. You just have to make sure that you're matching the colors to the red red that you're gonna use, like your blush. You don't wanna use something orange or something extremely pink because it might look clownish. Um, yeah. And that is red red. All right, you guys, this is the last red. It's the blue red. It's really dramatic, so there's gonna be a few extra steps, so pay attention. So we're gonna start off again with my eyeshadow base on my lip. And I don't wanna hear anybody saying like, you're not allowed to use eye base on your lips. It's dangerous. I always tell people we're not recommended to suggest this on your lip, just so we don't get sued, but if you take it home, you can eat it if you want. Alrighty, so we're gonna start with Cherry. And Cherry is definitely a blue-red lip liner from MAC. However, it is versatile. You can go red-red or blue-red with it, but we're gonna start off because we're gonna use a second lip liner afterward, okay? And again, the trick here, you wanna make sure when you're doing this downward or upward, feather. Creates an easier line for you. Especially for those of you that don't have steady hands. Alrighty. I'm gonna use Dragon Girl from NARS. This is a velvet matte. See, I use it a lot, it's really small. It's usually like this long. Um, velvet matte lipstick. When you use this guy, it feels really comfortable on the lip even though it is a matte, so that's why I like it. And then I go back. The second lip liner I'm going to use is Beat. Beat is almost a pink red, okay? So it's extremely blue. And you wanna make sure that your lip liners are really sharpened when you're doing this, especially if you are a makeup artist and you're doing it on a client because it can really pull. And then you're gonna end up messing up their lip. And do you see how that's turning it way more blue? Right in there. That same area where I said you can contour your lip. And then the last trick. Now this is a little superfluous, but you can totally do it if you want. I love doing it, so. I take Snob, and just for a little extra pout, kind of a makeup artist trick, but it really brings the color forward. And that is your blue lip. So I just want to stress though, there's not a lot of, well actually no, there's a few, a select few complexions that can't wear this. And this is for those of you that are one redheaded. 
this is gonna look kind of crazy. So you wanna make sure you're not wearing this if you are in that warm tone. Let's say for, in MAC terms, you're more of an NW skin tone. This is gonna be a hard red to wear. Or if you're anything darker than like Ava Longoria or something, it's gonna be a difficult red. But if you are gonna use it, make it more in the pink tone and that way it'll kind of look more pink than it will look like a red. Got it? Also, this is a very high maintenance lip, so if you are gonna use it, make sure that not only did you do your base, but you're gonna try to avoid putting it on the inner rim. So we, what, we have this like tendency, we want the lip color to get really opaque, so we like drive it in there. But stay away from the inner, right in here. Or you can do the oldest trick in the book to keep it off your teeth. The finger trick. And all that lipstick will go there. All right, there it is, our four red lip colors. Now people are gonna ask, what about a gloss? And you can definitely wear a gloss if you like, but I highly recommend against it. People like that shiny look, so that's great. But your lipstick is gonna have a lifespan of all about four minutes, so don't do it. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, if you have any, anything you wanna see done, please leave me a comment and I will do that for you. Bye. Here's a tip for the professional. When you're doing a red lip on a client, you wanna make sure that you're using your pinky finger of the opposite hand, so it depends. Are you left-handed or are you right-handed? You're gonna use the opposite pinky finger and stabilize the top of their lip as you work so that when you're feathering the lip liner, the lip doesn't budge.